So those of you that were with us for the beautiful house tour in Las Vegas, uh, you saw that there were some amazing cars, some Tobin motor cars. And this beauty here, the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, has been offered to us to go and drive and do a review. So let's do it. Hop in. You ready, Adam? Yes, I'm ready. Ooh. How nice is this? This is fancy pants. Isn't it? Still got the same lamb's wool mats that you've got in yours. I know, it's freezing cold in here. Ah! Ah, do they have... Oh, oh they do, it's under here. So on yes. yours, it's up top. Yes. And in here... You press that button and your door shall close. Or I could do it for you. I have two buttons here. Do they seem... Maybe it's because it's a smaller door. I was going to say, do they seem faster than your doors? But the doors on yours are huge. I don't know, let's see. Where is it? How do you get... Ah, it's the same as mine. I think it's faster. Here we go. Ah, it's much faster. Yeah, yeah. That could chop your arm off. That is fast. Oh, that's cool. This is different as well. They've made it semi-digital. You see the needles? They're digital. Oh, they are. They're all screens. Yeah. Yours aren't. Yours are no, actual needles, right? analog, yeah. Come on, focus. There we go. Put your... They still have the power seat. reserve, though. Yes, indeed, they do. So Backwards. Explain that to people that have never seen this before. So in a normal car, you would have the RPM over here, zero, and it would go forwards. In the Rolls-Royce, it starts off at 100% power, and when you accelerate, it decreases in what is left in your RPM range, so it goes backwards. Now, I think it's more gimmicky than anything else, but it's, it's kind of, it's, I want to say cool, but I'm not using the word cool. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun, yeah, it's great. But what a beautiful car, and this is a big privilege to be able to drive it. So, everything else is the same, yeah, I believe. comparisons between your Dawn and this. Okay, so this looks the same, although a little bit more high-tech. The resolution of the screen is nicer, and I don't know if this is touchscreen. It is. Ooh, Mine it is, is not. So this is a big advance, a big advance. I'm just putting the heating on because it is, in fact, cold. Will you like your seat heater on, Adam? No, I'm good, thank you. I want mine on. Actually, that's probably a bit too much. Um, same functions looks very similar on the ghost dawn and wraith this section is in the middle and here it's elevated okay but i feel like i'm in a phantom it's really nice it's tall. yeah it's really really nice huge sunroof let's take it for a spin should we go i'm ready i'm ready too okay we have a full tank of gas that means we can go a long way off road doesn't make sense does it rolls royce i don't want to go off road in this I don't it's even want to nice. have my shoes on in here. Right? You want to take your socks off and experience the beautiful lambs wool. Lambs wool. Uh, and look, look at the camera and also the top view of the car, which is great for manoeuvring because you actually see everything surrounding you. And it took me a while to trust it. How never... does that work? Do they have like a little drone that deploys above the car and follows you around? There are cameras underneath each mirror. They're at the back and at the front, and it. I think the car is actually superimposed. But it's so crazy how it looks like there's a little drone. Look at this now, race car. I have no idea where we're going. Look at this race car. We're going to see it in this camera, I think, as well. Watch yeah, the race I know car. we missed it. Don't have race car. All oh, right. Um, can I just point something out? Please. Heated seats. Yes. Also, heated steering wheel. Oh, I love that. Is that. Oh, so there's just one heat setting. Yeah, let's put it on because it's cold. And in my car, it's been one of the things I've always moaned about because it was never previously available. So this is a new thing. I'm happy to see that. This is nice. I might see myself driving one of these in the future. I'm putting the map on because it's going to tell me. In fact, we're not on a road according to this. <laughs> well, this a, is a new development, right? Yes, it is, yeah. And it's private. But the this car is, the, is beautiful. This is the best place to test out a car. Private racetrack, I mean road. There's something else as well. So in the heads-up display, uh, my Let me see if rolls, I can see from your point of view. Uh, Are you going to crash if I put that there? Probably, but that's okay. You can. Can you see it on that screen? No, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> so, on the 2018s and older, uh, my heads-up display. Oh, wow! I just discovered something that's amazing. What? Mine does not do this. It's white up until the speed limit. When you go over and above the speed limit, and it's telling me the speed limit's 25, 
it turns to red which tells you that you're going too fast. I need to ahead. film this from your perspective because from here it looks like you are mad and you're just pointing randomly I into don't. air. I, I, you've known me a long time, I am mad. <laughs> okay, so. Let's go up the hill. Let's go What's up, up here? Indeed, yeah. And at the moment it is an off road vehicle. I just don't know the name of the street where we started from and if we'll ever find it That's again. Fine. That's fine, just okay. head down. Private property McDonald's. So from the passenger seat, Pick it feels right because that is a gravel road. That is not somewhere we're going to take this. Um, it feels very similar to your car. That this, I mean, it's super quiet, but the sound of the engine, it's beautiful. the way that it kind of propels you, you know, it's a very wafty car. It's beautiful. It doesn't, I mean, it's beautiful. It doesn't feel like a big old SUV. No, it really doesn't. It, 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 it doesn't even feel like an SUV. It feels like a nimble car which is quite something. And the steering wheel is lovely and warm. Is it? Look at the house in front of us. Oh, it is warm. That's so weird. Look at the house in front of us. Oh, wow. They're building so many beautiful homes up here. I and know. there's Las Vegas. And I think that's a dead end that way, so we're going to go left. So, do you know anything about the technical aspects of this car? Is this the same engine that we would find in your Wraith? Uh, in that, your Dawn? That's a question I do not know the answer to. I'm going to um, guess that it is. I'm going to guess it is as well. Uh, it might be a modifi modified version of it, maybe a little bit uh, more powerful or less powerful, I'm not quite sure. Mm. I know the Dawn is actually slightly less powerful than, than the Wraith is. And I am is it? in the middle of a building site. I'm going to back up actually. Yeah, the black badge version is 40 or 50 horsepower more than the regular version, right. which is the same as a Wraith. And the regular Dawn is slightly less powerful because I think it's more of a cruiser car. Interesting. Yeah. So uh, if you buy. Help me out. Keep going straight. Uh, keep going straight. Okay, I'll do that. So if you would. Look at this view. I know, I, know, right? <laughs> I know there's building work, but... Which way? Keep going straight. Okay, I wonder if I zoom in on this. Oops, that's not zooming in. I don't know how to do any of this. Look at there. that! Look at that! That is spectacular, isn't it? Whoa, that thing is massive. Okay, so this actual card does not have the illuminated spirit of ecstasy. No, that least. looks chrome It looks me. chrome. Yeah. We have to go this way, that's a dead end. And how did I know that? It's now on the navigation. Oh, there we go. I zoomed in. Let's zoom in a bit more. Oh, it. that's the wrong way. So. All right. So, would you are. would you swap your Dawn for one of these? Well, there are upsides and downsides. The Dawn, you can obviously take the roof off. Yeah. This, you can open the sunroof, mm -hmm. um, which is very large. It's, it's very very large. This, I think. I don't know. Uh, that's a great question, and I think I'd have to give it a lot more thought. But it's beautiful, and it feels amazing. I'm, I, you know, I'm going to uh, go out on a wimp and, and say this is a nicer drive than the Phantom, because the Phantom, which I've driven, is huge. And don't get me wrong, it's beautiful and it drives very well, but it's huge. This feels like a nimble car, which to me is a big advantage. Now, is this somebody's drive or is this a road? Majestic rim. <laughs> you ever had one of those? So, what would be the benefits then of buying the SUV over the Phantom? Both huge cars, both will comfortably seat four people. Why would you need the height of an SUV over the sort of length and girth of the Phantom, well, which is a saloon? Firstly, sedan? this isn't as in your face as a Phantom. Right. A Phantom is a huge car just in its footprint alone. This is a usable car. You could go to the grocery store in it and I think that's why it's been created. You can do anything in this. Uh, it has options. I don't believe this car actually has it, but it has options where you have seats in the tailgate. When you open the tailgate, you can have a picnic. I don't think you can do that with a Phantom. Right. Um, having said that, you can have a lot of fun with a Phantom, don't get me wrong. But this is an all-round everyday car which, although it's still a little ostentatious, uh, is beautiful and I think probably much more practical. Wouldn't you say? I agree, completely agree. So I guess this is, as the name suggests, a lot more utilitarian than a Phantom, but still maintains that kind of luxury prestige that you get from driving a Rolls-Royce. Now when you say, as the name suggests, you're talking about Cullinan? No, Rolls-Royce. Oh, well let's talk about Cullinan. 
What does that mean? It's no idea. Because normally Rolls Royce cars are named after dead people. Ghost, Wraith, Spirit, Spur, Phantom. They're all kind of dead people, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're not. Why are you laughing at me? But dead what, things. What spur? Spur? <laughs> Something a cowboy would. I don't know. Was that, I don't know was that a Michael Blakey fact that we just got there? I don't know why I said that. Was that a little Michael Blakey fact? I really, I really don't know why I said that. I, as I was saying it, I thought to myself, what a stupid thing to say. And now it's there forever on camera. <laughs> and I know you're not going to edit it out. Of course not. <laughs> so, so let's. So, what does Cullinan with... mean? I have no idea. No, me neither. I have no idea. It's not a word. No, so ever... but as I don't the even name... know how to pronounce it. Let me know what it means. Yeah, is it Cullinan or is it Cullinan? It's there. Cullinan. 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 Cullin. Cullinan. It's probably something worth googling. I say Cullinan. I don't say Cullinan. There's some very nice houses. There are monster houses. That's like a skyscraper. This is a very swanky neighborhood, isn't it? It really is. Um, okay, so back to the car then. Yes, back to the car. Um, what does this, other than the functionality and the fact that, you know, that there is more space, there's more trunk space, you can sit in the back and have a picnic. What do you feel that this offers over a Wraith? Or does it offer anything over a Wraith? I think it does. It's, it's more majestic. It's higher, you sit proud. And I find myself, although this isn't like super high, you're looking down on things, mm -hmm. which makes you feel bigger and more grandiose. Yeah. Um, has a lot of presence. And it drives, as I say, amazingly. I yeah. mean, it, it really is surprising. How I, different I, does it feel to the Wraith or the Dawn? Well, I haven't been able to accelerate. But I just mean the high. general sort of feel the that same. you get. It feels the really? same. Really? Yeah. As a passenger, it does. Does it? Yeah, it really does. It, feel, it feels the same as a passenger. I'm very impressed with it. Over, overall, the steering wheel is nice and warm. It's <laughs> yeah. really nice. Feel no, it. I mean, the, oh yeah. uh, the, the fit and finish is all what you would come to expect from any Rolls Royce. The dash is very nice. Even the key is nice. Ooh. Is it okay, matched the interior? Turn here because that's the exit. That's okay. really nice. The fact that it's matched. The, this key is nicer than your key. Yeah, it is. Yeah, my key is like, big and cumbersome. I like the fact that this is all like... Okay, I have look. no idea where we're going. I think we're going into the less opulent homes. I mean, it's... Still within... They're Christmas still beautiful. Lights. Yeah, it's still nice out here. Um, but yeah, I mean like the, you know, the fit and finish of everything here is all good. Um, the same kind of speaker grills that you would expect from anything else. These are actually the bespoke speaker grills. Mm. So there are two options with the car. The standard sound system, which is amazing. And then the upgraded one which comes with these fancy speaker grills. So I'm assuming, again... Here's a, I have a, sorry to interrupt. What did I do? Why don't we just park here and then we can do some B-roll shots of this car so we can see what it looks like. Let's do that. Done, right there. Well done, sir. And off. All right, we're gonna cut some B-roll, so um, you know what to do. Get out. And? Oh, are we ready? And you gotta touch the lens though. And then like all the way, so it goes black. Let me show you some of the features. Let's see some of these features because some of them are crazy. I love this car, look at it, it's great. It does look awesome. It really does. Okay, so one of the things, just like the Ghost, you open both of these doors, Ooh. it's very, very cool. And of course, same as the Ghost, Oop, can't get in it, falling out. Okay, you have a button which closes the door, mind out, abracadabra. But this has something that the Ghost, <laughs> what did I do now? <laughs> just, just that transition was hilarious, carry on. Uh, Go feel, on, carry I on. I feel sad. No, carry on. Okay. This has things, you put me right off where I was going. This has things that the ghost doesn't. Let me show you. So, if you press this button here, what do you there's got? a little button, this lock button. You press it and hold. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Ooh, does the front one do the same? No. 
Yes, it does. I knew that. No, I didn't. Isn't that fun? That's very cool. Okay. Oh, I said very cool. I did, didn't I? No, no, I said very cool. Oh, so did I. You oh, you did. No, you I both didn't. did. Erase the famous umbrella. The difference is <gasps> color coordinated. Oh, this is a fancy one. Shall I try and open it? Yeah. Well, we know now. It's easy. Well, it doesn't mean I'm going to make it work. You just tug on it and it pops out, right? Yeah. This part's easy. Nice, right? Ooh. But can I just say, yes. Rolls Royce, yes. please, as as a humble a as a humble gentleman, please just put a monogram on it. Like if they can color code it, why can't they just put a screen printed monogram? I think it's done for a reason. It's so that you don't look ostentatious getting out of your Rolls Royce. <laughs> If, if I'm getting a color-coded umbrella, I want a monogram. Yeah, I agree. Maybe there's something that you can have added to it. Okay, so, did I do this right? I did. Beautiful. And da-da. Back into the heated, dried umbrella warmer. It's in. And we will... Hold on, before you do that. What? Oh, yeah. You do it. I think, well, I... curtains. Every car should have curtains. Forget tints, this is what you need. This is curtains. Electric curtains. Okay, so that other button does something different. Oh, it does the other window, check that out. You have master control. Look. See, I'm learning things. And then there's another feature, I'm assuming it's the same as on the Dawn. So this button here, if you press it, press that. These controls now operate the passenger seat. Oh yeah. Isn't that fun? Clever. Very clever. How do you open those curtains? I think this is the beauty of Rolls-Royce, is that there are features and specs that you can get on these cars that you don't necessarily think you need until you see them, and then you say, how have I ever been able to function without? That's exactly right. You know, I mean, li how little... can you have a car without curtains and without seat controls? Exactly. No, but but seriously though, that it, it's this is this is probably a little much to have yeah. blinds, I but agree. to be able to control the passenger seat using the Player One controls, that's a nice touch. The yes. heated steering wheel, and, and, nice touch. And also, your headrests need to be controlled electronically. Right. Exactly. Stuff. But, but these aren't things that are particularly ostentatious, Look right? At this. Look at this. Somehow here. Are you ready? You have to film here. Okay. I'm going to press a button. I have a table. Oh. I have a TV. Table and a telly. And a clock. And all these other things. This is amazing. And this button here, I'm assuming, puts it all to sleep. I love this car. I think you should get one. You do? Yeah. I think this as beats... As well as the Dawn or instead of the Dawn? Um, instead of the Range Rover. I love the Range Rover. What was the price on this? 394? It's about 400,000. 400 grand. What was the price on a Range Rover? 150. <sighs> that, I mean, that's insane. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. It is a big difference because... Uh, oh, is... look, a baby seat. Oh, Not yeah. my baby. Because is a Range Rover... We should Rover, close this. Is this worth 300 grand, 250 grand more than a Range Rover? Well... There's a hundred thousand dollars for the spirit of ecstasy because the prestige alone it's a Rolls Royce. Yeah. Um, it drives like a Rolls Royce. A Range Rover drives like a Range Rover. Uh, is it worth that extra amount of money? Probably, but I don't think it's to replace a Range Rover. I think this car is designed to replace a Wraith or a Ghost or a Dawn because it's too much to be your everyday runabout, I think. Yeah. Although it could be. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous and I'm very impressed with it. It is a great looking car. So, here's a question. Yeah. Have you ever been driven in one of these? No. Uh, hello, sir. Thank uh, you Mr. very, Mr. very Mr. much. This is, this is the way that it should be. Get used to this. Uh, could, I, could I get you a drink or anything, sir? Are you okay back here? Do you have any great poupon? Uh, mais oui. Uh, un petit maman, s'il vous plaît. What language is that? <laughs> I'm gonna close this for you. Uh, don't do that, you'll chop your fingers off. Okay, I'll just do this. Yes, thank you so much. This is very hey. pleasant. How is it back there? May I change your name from Adam to James? Whatever you want, sir. 
James, t take me somewhere. Uh, so where would you like to go, please, sir? Um, I think I would like to go for a uh, cappuccino, uh, perhaps a piece of sponge cake, Ooh, sponge cake. scone, and some cucumber sandwiches. Absolutely, sir. This is delightful. It would be my pleasure. Do you sir. recommend I put my seatbelt on? Uh, I would recommend that, sir. Yes. Okay, then the I roads around that. here can get slightly bumpy. This might be interesting. Do you know how to start it? I've already started it and <laughs> drive, sir. <laughs> this is exciting. Oh, we're moving, and we I are. haven't got my seatbelt. We Wait, I don't feel safe. Ah! Okay, I'm in. Are you plugged in? I am indeed plugged in. All right. In all seriousness, though, how is it in the back? It's incredibly comfortable. I feel regal. Regal. What? What's the space like back there compared to a Range Rover up front? Well, no, just like compared to being up front. Because this, as a driver, well, I feel like I'm in the back. Um, bigger than the Ghost, I would say. More room, more comfort. The seats are not individualized as they would be. Well, I think that's an option in the Ghost as well. But it's very, very comfortable. But no, this is really remarkable. And it also has a seat heater, which I've just engaged. Nice. Very comfy. So are you as comfortable in the back as you would be being a passenger in the passenger? Because most cars, you get in the back, it's not as comfy as being a passenger in the front. Would you say it's more comfortable back there? I'm very comfortable. I'm scared because you're driving, but... I'm doing n literally 19 miles per hour right now. It doesn't mean because I'm it says on my it says right here on my heads up display. Okay, so if you go a little faster, you can watch it change color. It just has. It's gone to 21. So is it it's, red? it's going to be here. Let me see if I can show this whilst driving. Oh gosh, now so, I'm really scared. Here we go. So right here, here is the heads up display. Ah! So this is this is what I see. So right now I'm doing 19 miles per hour. If I go above, you see how it's now gone red because I'm now doing 25 and a 20. And this sign up the road is telling me. You're speeding. So I am speeding. And now you understand why I get so scared. So I presume that this also gives you the navigation up front, right? It gives you absolutely everything. It gives you navigation, it gives you your telephone, it gives you your music, gives you everything. It won't give you a map. It will only give right. you uh, ma navigation if you enter a destination. And it will give you sort of your directions. Yes, it will give you right, directions. Right. But no, I do feel comfortable and I'm not that scared because I figure at 19 miles an hour, if you do hit something, I'll survive. I think you will. There's all sorts of goodies here, and everything's beautifully done. Nice car. I don't know how to, oh, that's the headrest. There has to be a way of opening these. There's lots of buttons. I don't know what they do, so I won't press what them. What are you trying to open? There's more shades. Oh, in the back? Yes, but the, I don't see the control for it. Oh, wait, maybe, ah, uh, you're closing something. What am I doing right now? You made it very dark. Okay, now what if I do this? They opened. All of them? Two of them. Just the, okay. I, Keep I, your eyes on the road, I'm not Adam. sure I have the commands to do the very back ones. Well, don't look for them. Stop it, look out the window. No, I'm looking for commands. <gasps> we can lower it. Should we make it, should we lower it? No. All right, let's, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull in Why right do here. you ask me questions when you just totally ignore me? What? I am in fact your master. So, right here, there's a. I believe low mode's the gearing. No, 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 this is lowering the car. So I can feel, yeah, I feel the back going down and then I presume when this, right, so now we're in low sports mode. So now we're in race car handling mode. Oh dear. So now it's, now it should be all fast and. Respect the neighborhood. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Adam. Look, look which car it is. Behave yourself. It's, it's, it's you, our friends. Yeah, and you've just been seen driving she, at high speeds by the owner of the car. But she waved to us. Can you believe him? No, she wasn't waving. She was saying, slow down, Adam, slow down, she Adam. Waving. Uh, but we're and, back. And so we're back at the house. So uh, your, what was it that you wanted? I forgot. You wanted Great something. Coupon. We Terrible were chauffeur, don't you think? over that. Hey, thanks for uh, coming with us on this beautiful ride of the Cullinan. What a great car. Again, huge thank you to Tobin Motor Cars, Jessica, for bringing these up. Uh, amazing. We had a blast. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. We'll see you later. And Mr. Cameraman, you have to tilt the camera into the sky because that's what Adam does. And you have to go when you do it. So go like, like real fat, like up there, like, like.